meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back and happy Sammy Da, or also known as St. Medar's Day on this day. Cajun folklore says if it rains, it's going to rain for the next 40 days. In fact, let's take a look at Sammy Da or St. Medar. Oh, we've got to show you this though first. Let's get out to rain and just show you our beautiful drone shot here shot by Logan Thibodeau. A beautiful day out in the frog capital. Uh, we had a mixture of clouds and sun, a dry semi dawn for that matter, uh, with mostly sunny skies and temperatures pushing the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. I love these drone shots. Get a nice view of the horizon, got a nice view of the base of the clouds and uh, partly cloudy skies out there. And again, you can see the crawfish ponds, uh, soon to be rice fields. Uh, coming up across the area of Acadia Parish. So pretty cool stuff. Now we go to Saint Midan or Saint Medar's Day. Uh, some 1600 years ago, uh, this uh, saint uh, lived uh, in France and uh, Cajun lore that comes through the French culture. It says if it uh, rains on this day on June 8th, it will rain for 40 straight days if dry. 40 days of drought and with the recent wet pattern, I think we'd be opting for the drought situation. Also, Sammy Da is the patron saint for good harvest, bad weather, toothaches, brewers, vineyards and prisoners. So uh, that is Sammy Da. A lot of the your grandmas, grandpas, your great grandmas and great grandpas know all about this and they ask about it all the time. Well, that's on June 8th. That is today and right now it looks pretty quiet. So it looks like drier forecast ahead, but no guarantees on that. Is there ever a guarantee in the weather lab anyway? High pressure out in Mexico, high pressure out in the Gulf of Mexico have been helping to stabilize the atmosphere as this upper level low to our north continues to produce problematic weather, but mainly over into the northern part of the state into Arkansas, where we're seeing showers and intense storms, a severe thunderstorm watch, a severe thunderstorm warning here just northwest of Jackson and not much shower activity today, nor anything going on at this hour across the area. So let's put the graph model in motion. Got to watch out for these renegade storms that could drop out of that upper level low. They'll drop to the south and may give us the chance of a shower or thunder shower overnight tonight, but not likely. Got to keep rain chance in the 20% range. And then tomorrow we'll see a repeat of today. That sun and cloud mix, maybe a pop up shower or two. Temperatures pushing upper 80s, heat indices in the mid to upper 90s. The heat index today, though, by the way, got up to 100 degrees in Lafayette when we hit 89 degrees at 1 p.m. Uh, but uh, in between, we're not sure if we hit 90 or not, so we'll see what the official high for Lafayette's going to be. Again, we haven't hit 90 degrees yet, and here we are on June 8th. As we head into tomorrow evening, should be quiet. Could see another round of those storms trying to move into the area again tomorrow night, but minimal rain chances is the bottom line, and we'll see much the same on Thursday with temperatures once again pushing the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. So you see those storms off to the north and east of us firing up this afternoon, and uh, some of those storms trying to slip into Louisiana. Meanwhile, in the tropics, it's quiet across the Gulf, much of the Caribbean. We continue to see lots of tropical moisture down here by Central America and a little bit of a monsoonal trough as we go across the Caribbean. And actually, the National Hurricane Center lower, lowering their probabilities of development through this weekend down to 20%. But beyond that is where we uh, are interested in as the long range models continue to hint that this deep tropical moisture will start to get organized somewhere across Central America. Now we could see a system develop in the Gulf. We could see system developing in the Pacific. It could be an either or or and or situation. So we'll continue to watch it as typical this time of year. Here's the European model trying to develop something in the Pacific, also something in the southern and perhaps western Gulf of Mexico as we go into the mid to latter part of next week. We'll take a look at that GFS model coming up at six, but nonetheless, something may be up down the line, but nothing to get worried about yet at this point. We'll just keep an eye on things. So tonight temperatures again in the mid to upper 70s, awfully warm and humid out there. And tomorrow we'll see temperatures rising back into the upper 80s, heat indices back into the mid 90s. Uh, the graph model suggesting our dew points may come down a few degrees, but plan on those heat indices getting near 100 again for tomorrow. So 76, 77 the low tonight, a little breezy early this evening. Those winds should die down later on tonight. Then tomorrow up to 89 for a high. Certainly feeling like June with that sun and cloud mix and the rain chance at about
about 20%, but you can't rule out a shower or thunderstorm in this type of pattern. Rain chances 20% or less as we head into the weekend, and finally we should see highs starting to push to the lower 90s and maybe more consistently. But as we go into next week, we do see rain chances perking back up, at least for the afternoon hours. And then toward the end of next week, we'll see what happens out in the Gulf of Mexico, but no major concerns at this point. Marcel? All